Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about changing the screen saver timeout settings using Group Policy for Windows Server 2016. And though this lab is using Server 2016, the settings will apply for Server 2012, Server 2016, and Server 2019. To begin this lab, we'll be using Server Manager, and from Server Manager, we're going to go to Tools, and from Tools, we're going to scroll on down until we come to Group Policy Management. Go ahead and launch that. Let's make the Group Policy Management Console full screen, and let's go ahead and move over the window just a little bit. Go ahead and expand your forest. Go ahead and expand your domains, and right-click on your domain, and from here, you're going to create a GPO in this domain and link it here. We could apply this group policy object to a specific organizational unit or we can apply it to the entire domain and for this demonstration we're just going to go ahead and apply it to the entire domain. So we have to give it a name so let's just call it screensaver and say OK. We can go ahead and expand our domain and here you'll see that policy object that we just created. Now we could have used the default domain policy. Or we could have created, as we did, a new group policy object. Now go ahead and right click on your new group policy object called Screensaver and select Edit. Go ahead and make this full screen. All right, so this is going to be applied to the users. So let's go ahead and expand policies underneath users. Let's go ahead and move the window over just a little bit. Underneath User Configuration Policies, go ahead and click on where it says Administrative Templates. And over here in the right window pane, go ahead and open up Control Panel. Once you're inside of the settings for the Control Panel, just go ahead and open up Personalization. Now the first setting we have to enable is the Enable Screen Saver. So go ahead and double click that and go ahead and check where it says enabled. Then just say OK. The next setting we have to configure is password protect the screensaver. So let's go ahead and double click that and go ahead and enable and then say OK. Now the next setting we have to configure is the screensaver timeout. So go ahead and double click that and when you enable this by default it's going to be set for 15 minutes, but you can set it for whatever your organizational security policy calls for. Go ahead and say OK to that. Now the next thing we have to select is the for specific screen saver. Go ahead and select that. When you enable this, you have the option of putting in a specific screen saver. But by default, you don't have to. You can go ahead and just leave it blank and it'll just use the default screensaver that Windows currently is using. Once you have that enabled, go ahead and say OK. Alright, so we can close out the settings for the user now, and we can return to our Group Policy Management. And now we're going to go ahead and move on over to our Windows 10 client for our domain. So let's go ahead and bring that up real quick. I'm now logged on to a Windows 10 machine that is joined to my cyber offense domain. Now what we can do is we can check to see what group policy settings are being applied to this Windows 10 machine by using the GP result space forward slash R command. So let's go ahead and type that in. I'll hit enter. And underneath our user settings, we don't see that the screensaver is being applied yet. Now I'm currently logged on to this machine as the domain administrator, so I'm using administrative access. So to ensure that it's pulling down the group policy settings, we can either wait 15 or 30 minutes and those policies will be applied, or we can just use the GP update command. So let's just go ahead and type in GP update space forward slash force. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And now it's going back over to the domain controller and it's pulling down any updated 
group policy settings that need to be applied to this machine. And it tells you that the user policy update has been completed successfully. So let's go ahead and use our up arrow and let's run that GP result space forward slash R one more time. And now underneath the user settings, you'll see that we have the screensaver GPO being applied. There will be times when you will be required to go ahead and reboot or log off at least and then log back on for the user settings to take place. Now, if these settings are being applied at the computer level, then you'd have to restart the machine for those settings to take place. So now if a user tries to go in and they try to personalize their screensaver or the lockout time, they won't be allowed because this setting is now being controlled from a group policy object being pushed out by the domain. And that's going to take precedence over anything local on this machine. And you can confirm that just by going into the lock screen and scrolling on down. And if you have access to your show lock screen background picture on the sign in screen or the screen timeout settings, then you'll be able to see that that's all going to be grayed out. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about changing the screensaver timeout settings for our group policy for Windows Server 2012, Server 2016, or Server 2019. So if you have any questions or concerns about anything that was presented to you in this short video presentation, Please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.